Hey everyone, welcome back to Postron Plays Infernax. So I'm gonna try something here, and uh, let's see. Hmm. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Yep. Also, can I get back on the boat here? No, okay. Uh, yeah, so this exists. If you, uh, if you put in the Konami code, uh, at the title screen, uh, you get a machine gun. And you dress up as, uh, the dude from Contra. And now, I'd actually know if this is a, a full-fledged uh, playthrough or how any of this works, but I'm really curious. In fact, does it show you? It does show standard bullets. Red tank top. Did we get a choice? We can. Okay, yeah, we'll help you. Now we know we know for sure that this does not work. And we cannot help him. However, Dig the extra sprite work for this. Made short work of that boss. Sorry, miss. Uh, we can upgrade our power. So we can't actually get standard upgrades. So I don't know what that third option is on the save point. I feel like I've just missed something there. Maxime Gun, by the way, is our uh, our name here. Which <laughs> this is kind of absurd. Uh, I think we still have only our basic uh, movement abilities, though. Like I don't think I can. I don't think I can do like a high jump or anything here. And there is still gold, so presumably we can still get potions. I don't know if I'm going to do the full playthrough of this, but, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll just... We'll see where it goes for this video, and maybe I'll, uh... Actually, you know, I could do... Can I do, like, an evil playthrough? On this, I wonder? You know what I mean? Like if I if I make all the evil choices as Maxine Gun, do I can I actually unlock the evil playthrough? I probably don't get the spells though, right? So I might not be able to like light the towns on fire, which I think is one of the necessary things. tried. Open the gate. So they still have normal stuff. Maybe we'll try, maybe we'll try doing that. Maybe we'll try an evil playthrough of this. I don't know. Let me, hold on a second. I'm gonna get back here with but making that other choice real quick. Alright. I am back here. Uh, in case you're wondering, there was no uh, special animation or a different, uh, different art for Killing that guy, he still mace him to the face. Trouble brewing. Hold the gate indeed. What is happening? Well, you know, 
Bad stuff is happening, basically. So yeah, can we buy upgrades? <laughs> Get a, a blue. Somehow this shirt protects better without sleeves. Uh, is there a magic shop? There is, right? It's just further left? Yeah, that's right. It's next to the inn. So I want to see... Can we still get the different magic? Oops. Increase the strength of your armor. Yeah, so we can still get shield and extra lives and things like that. Hmm. Uh, I forget if we need to talk to him or not. Strange folks in Arcos. What are, can we can we break the um Oh, you know what we should do? Oh, can we not? Uh yes. Oh, I, I can't seem to actually... Oh, there we go. Yeah, we get more than that back. So let me... Uh, I guess I'll go get the tank top. I assume that's just a straight armor upgrade. Yep, it gives us a new headband, too. How about that? Boy, that is funny. So the question then becomes... If I'm doing an evil playthrough, do I still do these quests? Or am I supposed to not do these quests? Hmm. These might, this might give me like good points, right? I wouldn't want to do that. Oh, there's multiple music tracks for this. How about that? Not what I would have expected. I wonder if there's a nighttime track too then. Probably. Pretty great track, too. What does the first upgrade cost? Is it a thousand or is it seven fifty? Seven fifty. If I want to do anything with the barn there, but well, we can at least do this. So I mean, this is necessary progression. Stay safely out of range here. No problem.
Yep. It's still awful. No one knows why. You know what's funny about that? You know, he says, like, come see me for guidance. Does he actually do that? Does he actually give you hints of where you're supposed to go and we just never did that? Probably. So with the key, we can go to that first dungeon, right? I wonder if I can, like, blow through that dungeon really fast. Uh, again, I'm not going to go in there just because I don't know quite how the effects of that will work. Uh, you know what? I should save again, just to be safe. Sounds like we just had standard music inside the, uh... The dungeon, which makes sense. I imagine a lot of the bosses will be a lot easier. Do you get the reflect ability? Um, where you can knock projectiles back? So can I knock projectiles back with my gun? That would be pretty wild. We don't have a shield, though. That's actually an interesting thing I didn't think about. That is a bit of a wrinkle there. Because it means we can't block spears, which are typically pretty dang dangerous. I don't even know what that enemy was. Does it respawn, though? Whatever it was? That's crazy! That's a really easy 250 right off the bat. How did I never exploit that when I first came through here. I guess it's a little different when it's not the gun. Uh, it should also be noted too that uh, the extra life purchase is interesting because um, I've got, I don't know exactly how it works, but I'm guessing I've only got 30 lives. Um, unless, I, I kind of highly doubt that if I have 30 lives and then reload a save that it would refill those. And as someone pointed out, when you uh, save a soldier, you do get 10 gold if you talk to them. Uh, we actually... Am I actually able to safely get out of here? Because I would like to... Oh, jeez. Save an upgrade. This is kind of a nasty spot, though. Oh, that was close. Okay. Alright. What? Oh! <laughs> Almost got me there. Alright, so we should be able to get upgrades here. That's right, I'm gonna go for the power. Charles is safe. Yeah, so I do wonder how that works. Like, if I if I lose 30 lives, do I go back to the... 
save point or how does that work? Do I only get 30 for the whole playthrough? I mean, this is probably also on some level meant to be an easy mode. Uh, because, you know, gun. Versus largely melee enemies. Oh, you're still trying to fight that skeleton. Oh, there we go. Oh, maybe I already got the, the money from you. Yeah, no shield is an interesting one. Really makes me wonder if, what, if we'll get anything to, to help against projectiles because it's actually going to be kind of tricky in some some areas. Oh yeah, I forgot there were double-sided uh, spike crushers. I think this might be the only area with them. Sorry, sir, I tried. Good thing we don't have uh, limited ammo, huh? Whoops, ran right into that. Whoa, hey. Oh no, there is another one, another set of double yeah, so what was this item? I guess we'll find out here in a second. Oh, this was lightning magic. Okay, so yes, yeah, so we do get... We do get magic. So we could light the towns on fire. If you do that, do you lose all of the ability to shop there? My guess would be yes. Spear shooters. One more shot. Probably could have ducked under that. A little bit a little safer. Oh, that was the uh, the enemy. Again, did that respawn? Oh, that's wild. I mean, because even like stuff at the end game only gives. Wow, it even drops big coins too. Boss time. I think I remember this boss. Surprise. I, think I mostly want to stay up. <laughs> He's already dead. <laughs> I guess the uh the two power upgrades plus gun, uh served me well there. I was, I was wondering, can I just shoot that from all the way down here? There it goes. Now wait a minute, yeah, how would we get, uh... Like the charge and and things like that. How would that work? Because we would still need those at some point. All right. Well, that'll do it for now. Uh, hope you enjoyed this this odd uh, bonus mode here. Uh, we'll see. I, I might actually continue this and try to do a quick evil playthrough on uh, this mode because it, it seems to be like it'll go pretty quick. But anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Dick click like helps a bunch. Subscribe for more. I'll see you soon.